Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel English with Dr. MKS. I have got another interesting video for you and this is also a video on pronunciation. This word is usually mispronounced as tour. In English, this is pronounced as tour. Tour. And you need not pronounce the R that comes in the end. Uh, because in British English, R in the end is not pronounced, especially if it is after a vowel sound. So, if you want to learn in detail about the rules of pronouncing R, I have already made two videos on it. You can visit my channel and you can uh, watch those videos as well to deeply understand where to pronounce British R and where not. Well, here talking of this word tour, we normally uh, use it as a noun, right? For example, we went on a tour of the city. They went to a tour where they met their childhood friends. They are planning a two-week tour to Australia. So, you see, in all these sentences, this word tour has been used as a noun. But most of us don't know that this word is also used as a verb. Yeah, right. So how can we use this in uh, the sense of a verb? Let's take a few examples. The supervisor will tour the museum tomorrow. The PM toured the army camps yesterday. We are planning to tour Ajanta and Elora Caves the next month. So see, in these sentences, this word has been used as a verb. So, broaden your mental horizons and try to learn a single word which can be used as different parts of speech and especially for the IELTS aspirants, it is essential to learn the use of a particular word in different part of speech because the reading, listening, writing and speaking all is about paraphrasing. And in paraphrasing, this is one of the common techniques that word form is changed. The part of speech is changed to trick the IELTS test takers. So I would suggest all the IELTS aspirants as well to learn different words which are used in different parts of speech. Well, to the general learners who are not into IELTS, I would suggest to enhance your day-to-day -day usage of language, it is better to know which word can be used as what. So here we used tour as a noun and as a verb. Both ways, the structure, the sentence is different, right? And I also use the second form of the word tour, that is toured in one of these sentences, right? So do take care of such things and keep learning, keep watching my channel, keep supporting, share the videos maximum, subscribe to my channel and share it as much as possible because your encouragement, your support, your comments, your subscriptions will encourage me to make many, many, many more videos that will impart you genuine, authentic, correct information, which I always try my level best to do. So thank you very much. Your own Dr. Manjinder Kaur Saini signing off now. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.